In this video, I'm going to show you how to make this movie. It is using a single layer and has a second movie playing in the background. The background movie and the source movie are inside your Studio Artist folder in a folder called A Few Source Images and Movies. So you can use those to recreate this tutorial if you want to. So I have the original source movie loaded here, but I'm going to need a white background to make this movie. So first I have to clean this source movie up. So how I'm going to do that is I'm going to record a paint action sequence and drag this frame into the canvas, which will be the first recorded step. Now I'm going to clean up the background by going to the selection mode to mask out the background. And I'm going to choose canvas and then global color. There's an option here to feather the edges or have a soft edge or have a hard edge. I'm going to choose a hard edge. And also I need to make sure my masking is on. And now I will mouse down in the canvas and mask out the light purple background. And then you'll see this step has been added to the paint action sequence. Then I will choose the erase pull down menu and choose white. There are also these black lines on the side of the video and I want to white those out as well. So I will choose a rectangle mask and select this first dark bar. Then I'm going to hold down shift to get this little bit I missed. And then while I'm still holding down shift, I will mask out the other bar. And again, I will erase the selection to white. The next step that you need to do to make this work properly is to toggle to the paint action sequence mode editor. So here are the paint action sequence presets that you're familiar with, and here's the editor toggle. So I'm going to toggle over to the editor and I need to turn on the mask playback. This is also true if you're using layers to make a movie, you also need to turn the playback on for the layers, but we're not using layers at all in this movie. So now that I did that, I'm ready to output my mask movie. So I'm going to do that by choosing action, process with paint action sequence, source to movie, and then name the output movie. And now it's processing. So now we have a nice cleaned up source video to work with. And again, this cleaned up video is in your studio artist folder in the few source images and videos folder. Now I'm going to load this cleaned up video to the source area by dragging and dropping it. Next I'm going to go to the paint action sequence presets and choose the movies presets. Then I'm going to select the cartoon flat category. And then I'm going to choose this preset cartoon cutout with shadowing. And then I'm going to press play to make sure this is the one that I want. So right now, as you can see, it doesn't have the countdown background video. That's the step we're going to add next. So to bring in the background video, we need to add a context step, which is very simple. You just choose action, paint action sequence timeline, then record context, multiple keys, and finally content, and then choose the background movie. I'm going to choose the countdown movie, which is also in your studio artist folder with the movie of the dancer. When this window appears, just press cancel. So now you'll see that a step called content context has been added to the paint action sequence. This step needs to be the first step because it's going to be the background. So I will drag it to the top of the paint action sequence and then mute or basically turn off the purple background step since we will be replacing the purple background with the countdown movie. So now I'll press play just to see how it looks. So that looks good to me. And now we're ready to output the final movie by choosing action, process with paint action sequence, source to movie, and then name the output movie. And here's the final movie. The next tutorial is going to show you how to edit this paint action sequence so that we can apply it to another source video.